This program is a program to look at the state of the stream flags and then also to give you an introduction on how to use the information that C++ is telling you about the streams um, to help monitor errors. So like we talked about previously, when you have an error in a stream, so this could be like if you're using CN uh, and the user types in a, a number that doesn't go into the type of variable that you were trying to read it into. So maybe you're looking for a number and the user types in a string instead. Um, or it could be when you're working with files, maybe you have the same thing, you have a type mismatch. So you're trying to read in a, a number and you get a string. Or maybe the file doesn't get opened correctly or you hit the end of the file. Any of those kinds of things can trigger these uh, stream, stream error state flags and when they get triggered, you've got quite a bit of fine detail in there that you can use to internally figure out what's going wrong in your program and oftentimes fix it inside the program without having to generate an error that causes your program to stop. So this program is called streamflags uh, underscore simple prog dot cpp and it's on your Canvas page. And the way this program is set up is we have include IO stream because we're doing input output, uh, F stream so that we can work with files, string so that we can work with strings, and then IO manip so that we can do some uh, output formatting. And with this one we have uh, IF stream, so input file stream, and we're calling that stream FN, but we didn't link it to a file and we didn't open the file. Um, so without the linking to the file up here, then the file's not opened, and we didn't do a separate uh, .open command further down. Um, so let's take a look and see what this program's going to do. We're going to go into the for loop. We're going to try to read a number from fn that should cause an error, and then it'll print out the error state. So you'll notice that as soon as we try to read from it, um, we're going to print out bad bit. We print out that by the name of the stream, in this case fn, a dot separator, uh, and then bad, open close parentheses. So that'll return a true or a false to whether bad bit is set. So we got a zero, so that means bad bit's not set. We're doing the same thing with fail bit. So fail bit is a one. So that means it's true. So we, we, it's true that we failed to read from the file. We have uh, end of file, so EOF. And this dot EOF, open close parentheses, returns EOF bit. So that's true. So we immediately hit the end of the file because there was no file that was open. So that's how C++ interpreted it. And then we do fn.good, open close parentheses. So if the stream is able to read, if it's not currently crashed, then good bit will return a, a one, will, will return a, a true. But in this case, it returned a false, returned a zero. So that means that the stream is not capable of, of reading when it's in this state. So let's start making some changes to this program. So the first change is Let's grab all of this stuff where we're printing out the states of the stream flag and let's copy it and paste it here right after we try to create the stream but we don't have the stream linked to anything. So we're going to do stream state table for fn right after stream creation and let's see what that looks like. So here's our uh, set of flags so we can see that right after stream creation bad bit 0, fail bit 0, end of file bit is 0, and good bit is 1. So this means that the stream is ready for for reading. So we, we, we haven't uh, done anything yet where we've tried to read from it. So even though it's not really linked to a file, um, it's considered to be ready to go. So that's, that's kind of interesting, something that's good to know. Um, also, one other thing, just to explicitly state it, uh, when 
any of these three problem flags are set, so bad bit, fail bit, or end of file bit is set at a 1, so if they're set at true, then good bit should always be then set at 0. It should handle this internally. So good bit should only be at a 1, at a true state, if all of these errors are at a 0 state. Um, and it's very unusual to trip bad bit in a C++ program if you're doing just sort of the, the standard sort of opening a file, reading to the end of a file, those kinds of things. You'll primarily see uh, fail bit and or uh, end of file bit set if there's a problem. So now let's uh, create a file and see if we can link it in and see if we can start reading a little bit from the file. So let's see if we can trigger an end of file message. So we're trying to read a float. So let's put a file in there that has some float values. So we'll go to new, empty file. Yes, we want to add it to the project. We'll call it input.txt. Remember the extension is very important. Hit save. Yes. And then click on OK. And then we can enter our values in here. Um, I would always recommend leaving at least one blank line at the end of your file. Uh, and then you've got that yellow bar that indicates that your file's not saved yet, so we need to click Save. And we've got the green bar indicating that it's saved. Now we can go back to Main. So to link it in, we can do it one of two ways. One way after the stream is already created, we can do an fn.open command and then put the name of the file in the uh, parentheses of the open. And the first part with fn, it would just be whatever the name of the stream is. Notice it got opened and it was able to read from it. Most of the time though, there's no reason to do a separate open command. So most of the time, what you'll do is just do it all in one shot, all in one line. So it would be the creation of the name fn and then the open parentheses right after fn and then the name of the file. And let's see if that works. And sure enough, that works, and you can see that first little bit, um, we're able to read from it. So let's take a look and see how many records we were able to read. So the first one was right when it was created. So then it looks like it read one record and printed out uh, that it was in a good shape, in good shape. Read the second record, printed out that it was in a good shape. Read the third record and printed out that everything was in good shape. And then when we tried to go for that fourth number, that was when we hit end of file bit. So end of file bit got set to true, fail bit got set to one, and good bit got set to zero. Let's see if that reflects what was in input.txt. Sure enough, we had uh, three numbers that we were able to read. So three good reads from the file. And then on the fourth attempt, even with the blank lines in there, it looked for something. All it saw were the separators from the return characters. And so it just went down to the end of file and gave you that error. So now let's try and do something a little bit more complicated. Um, we've got a float in here that we're trying to read. What if we tried to read an integer? And just so we can see what we're we're doing with this, why don't we try to see out the integer. To the screen before we print the state of the stream flag. So let's run it. So this was our stream flag uh, before we hit the for loop. We read the first value in here. So let's see what it read and what is it doing. So it's kind of interesting. It's got 1.23, 
which is a float, so we would kind of expect that that would cause an error, but instead it recognized that the decimal was a non-integer allowed field, and so it just stopped there. But the .23 is still in the stream, so it read the value of 1, then when we tried to read the next one, which was the .23, and we tried to force that to go into an integer, then we failed. So it, it zeroed out the integer. It doesn't always do that. Sometimes when it fails, you'll just wind up with the last value that's in the variable. But in this case, it threw a zero in there. Uh, and then it set fail bit. It didn't hit end of file, so end of file bit is still set at zero. And then look at what happened to good bit. It went from uh, one uh, to a zero, so our stream is not able to read. And then it just stays in that state, so it's crashed, and we're not able to read anything additional from it. So what if we just wanted to get rid of the other non-integer stuff that was in there? We need to do a couple of things. We need to, to uncrash the stream. So we could do if fn.good. So that would be if we're in a good state, do this. But if we're in a good state, we're probably OK. So we could either do just leave that open and do an else, or we could put a not in there. So if we're not in a good state, then what do we do? And we could do open close parentheses. So first thing we need to do is uncrash that stream. We can do that by adding uh, fn.clear. That'll uncrash it. Until we uncrash it, we're not going to be able to work with it. Now, we need to get rid of the stuff, though, that it crashed into. So the, the period, the dot, is still in there. We need to get rid of that period. So what we can do is we can ignore a certain number of characters. And we can also ignore up to a inline character. So we're going to say ignore up to a backslash n. So that'll look until there's a, re a return character to the next line. Because we have each line is on a, uh, each record's on a new line. But just in case. We don't want it to um, to get stuck in some kind of infinite loop where it's searching for a return character, but somehow the file is so messed up it doesn't have a return character. So if it ignores a thousand characters, then that'll also end this statement as well. So it's ignore up to a thousand characters or backslash n, whichever one comes first. So that should pull that offending uh, 0.23 out and open it back for reading. Why don't we change this to a 3 just so we can have 1, 2, 3, and it'll be a little bit easier to see what it's doing. So I'm going to save that again. So let's see what we're, we're doing. So this was right after it was created. Inside the for loop, it reads the 1 and then it fails. So it tries to read in the 0.23, it fails, it, it zeroes itself out. It's in a fail state. Since it's in a fail state, then in the if statement, we clear it, we clear all the offending data out, then it's able to read a 2. Going back to the input file, it crashes on the point three four five. So then we have to clear that out. Then we can read the three, and then it crashes on the three point six five. We could clean this program up a little bit more if we could merge everything into that uh, if statement. So why don't we why don't we take this and make this be if fn dot good. We're going to do an open close brace here, 
and then do an else. So it should be running the same way. Let's run it just to double check. I always recommend that make a small change and see if your program's still working. Okay, looks like it's still working. Now, if we'll come in here and we'll print our I read this value out. only if we're in a good state. So let's see what that looks like. Now we're getting, I read this value one. We went through the for loop, we're in a bad state. We cleared it out, but we didn't print anything because we weren't in a good state. Then we went through the loop again. We tried to read, we're in a good state so we could print out the two. Then we got, uh, a fail from the decimal so then we cleared it out again then we went back in and then we could read the the three so you can try and implement part of this in your program five where you're looking at reading from the file you may want to do a read to the end of file loop um, but the same kind of idea maybe use this copy and paste the stream state in here so you can kind of track the state of your stream and then have an if statement in there so that you're taking action based on the the state of your stream. Is, was your stream good? If so, you can do the calculation. Otherwise, you'll need to clear out that stream. So we'll keep uh, working on uh, streams, but hopefully this gives you some ideas. And make sure that you play around with this program kind of the way I played around with it. Try to make these changes try a few more things and see what works and what doesn't work. Thanks for watching.